Hi, I'm Lori Searle with Yoga and Fitness To Go, and this is Yoga While Waiting In Line. Nobody likes to wait in line, especially if you're pressed for time. But if you think you don't have enough time to work out because you have too many errands to run, well, me and my friend Michelle are going to show you what you can do while you're running your errands, multitasking and waiting in line. So we're going to start. Say hi, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> She's waiting in line at the post office, as you can tell, with her two packages. And I'm coming from the grocery store, waiting in line at the grocery store. So we're going to start first by just standing up nice and tall, taking some deep breaths, because nobody likes to be online and stressed out. So deep breaths are always really important. And then we'll start by taking the chin all the way down towards the chest. We're going to do some head rolls, taking the right ear all the way to the right shoulder, all the way back to the left and forward. So Michelle's going to show you off to the side, and I'm going to show you the front way. Right? Just do a couple head rolls. This is going to be really, um, and this will be nice and relaxing for you while you're waiting in line. And then we'll return the head towards neutral. We'll come into a little bit of a pelvic tilt. So all we're going to do is sort, sort of start to strengthen the core by exhaling and drawing the belly in towards the spine. The tailbone's going to tuck down just a little bit and then releasing, allowing the belly to soften as you inhale. And then you can just do that a few times. No one will really notice you're doing much of anything here, but you're starting to strengthen the core and even the bum muscles too. You can clench the bum muscles as you draw the navel in towards the spine. Can you show them that as you clench your bum muscle? Nice. So you can just do that a few times. And then while you're waiting, you can also start to keeping your tailbone tucked in your belly in. We're just going to do some pelvic rotations. So you're just going to add our hip rotations a little bit. Just getting into the hips. And that's right, you're going to want to keep your feet about open hip distance apart. And you want to keep your weight nice and even on all four corners of the feet. So tendency while waiting in line is you're shifting your weight from one foot to the next and maybe overcompensating somewhere. This could actually um, add to accruing injury when you do go and work out when one side is a little bit more warped than the other. So you want to make sure that the weight is nice and even on both sides. Right, and then from here we can do a little bit of a lateral stretch. So if you've got packages in your hand, you might want to just relax your shoulders down and just kind of lean over to the right side, stretching the um, right side, left side body and then over to the other side. So you're getting nice and long and lean at both sides of the body. Right, if you only have some packages in your hand, maybe you can take your arm up towards the sky. Now you might be looking funny to other people around you, but trust me, you'll start a trend. I did this when we were uh, on election day. Right? And I started doing some of these exercises, and um, some other people started to follow me. And uh, by the end of uh, you know, the voting line, was all doing like a conga line of exercises. So it was very exciting. <laughs> okay, so after your lateral stretch, let's start to come into the feet a little bit. So hopefully you can see this. We're going to just come into heel raises. So getting the calves nice and warmed up, you're just going to lift the heels as high as you can and lower. Lift and lower. So you can start feeling them burning in the calves, right, Michelle? Yes. Oh, yes. And you can tell by the way she's holding the packages that she's working her bicep muscles. So even if those are like a pound each, I don't even know how much is in there, what she's shipping off to, maybe it's a holiday gifts or something. Um, she's, she's working the biceps by just keeping them still. And then after the heel lifts, you can release the heels and start to lift the toes. Now this is going to challenge your balance if you lift both balls of the feet off of the floor at the same time. So you might want to just work one at a time, lifting one foot and the other. Imagine you're listening to a jazzy tune and just toe tapping. So you're going to come into your ankles, your Achilles, the top of the feet, the uh, muscles in the toes. This is great. You can. Uh, while you're waiting in line, you can be burning calories, you can stretch the body, feel nice and peaceful. And then from here, we're going to start to come into the knee joints and the hips. So we're going to just come into a little bit of a squat here. So feet, again, hip distance apart. You're just going to bend the knees like you're sitting into a chair and then lengthen up. Shoulders are nice and relaxed and you're lengthening up through the crown of the head, that is. Inhale, lengthening and exhale, sinking nice and deep. And of course, you're breathing the whole way because if you've gotten this far, you're waiting in a long line. Maybe you're at the DMV. Maybe the post office is just a really long line. So if you're getting through all of these exercises, it's really important that you're breathing deeply. 
Good, and then from here, if you want to just take it up a notch, you can just take the toes out a little bit, open up the feet a little wider, and come into a wider squat. Trust me, the people around you are going to be like, maybe a little wacky, right? But they might be like, hey, this girl, she knows how to multitask. She knows how to do two things at once and two things really well. So you want to do that just a few times each side, just until you feel the muscles working. And then if you have the space, you can come into um, leg extensions here. So you'll point the right toes out to the uh, front of the room, or the front of the line, <laughs> make sure that you don't kick the person in front of you, and you'll just lift and lower, lift and lower. Again, you want to be aware of the space around you, so just toe tapping and then you'll switch sides. And even if it's just a little tap, you're engaging the quadricep muscle, you're engaging the calf muscle, you're engaging all the way down to the foot and hip flexor, you're really working the whole leg here. And then of course, if you have the space off to the side, you flex, so that right foot with the super flex is gonna come out to the side. Again, being aware of the space. And just a few times, one side is great. And then switching sides. It's really great for balance. If you have a shelf near you, you can hold on to that shelf or a countertop. And then from here, you'll want to point that toe, the toes back behind you. And again, be aware of the people behind you. And you'll just start to toe tap back. If you're limited on space, we're going to have to switch sides. We have a ton of space here. Not a long line here. Oh no. If you're limited on space, you can just, in your line, start to walk in place, just march in place. You would do this on a treadmill anyway, just to warm up, right? So just walking in place is great. Then you can take it up and out and knee, knee lifts as high as you can. Really great for hip flexors, great for the core, so make sure that you're not leaning too far forward or too far back. And then you can switch it up here and do butt kicks. So you're going to lift your heel all the way back towards your butt. This is working the hamstring, stretching the quadricep. I feel like I'm working out. I'm getting stuff done. And then from the arms, if you have this space, you can do arm extensions. So if you've got packages, I just suggest sending it forward and back. Grocery bags, you can send them forward to work the shoulder. I do this all the time walking home from the grocery store. Because I actually don't like to go to the gym very often, so I feel at least I'm multitasking. Right, and then you can take it out to the side also for the shoulders. Michelle can't do that because she's got those packages in her hands. But maybe she can add a squat as she's extending the arms. Mm, how about that? If you're coming from the grocery store or waiting at the grocery store or the farmer's market, you can come into a bicep curl here. You can even do a tricep kick back. So you've basically worked all of your major muscle groups. You're breathing deeply. You've waited in line. You've killed two birds with one stone. You've done it all. And now you're ready to, you, you can go now. She's ready for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us for this episode of Yoga and Fitness To Go. Thank you, Michelle. On behalf of me and Michelle and Yoga and Fitness To Go, it's been our pleasure, and we'll see you online.